morning guys welcome back to Ian's Allotment Diaries great to see you again I'm um, going to give you a quick update now on what I'm doing this morning it's a fantastic day out there today um, spring has really sprung and I just can't wait to get stuck in so I'm going to give you a quick update on what I got done yesterday and what I'm going to be doing today so I'll very quickly take you outside hope you guys are all okay look at that sunshine look at that bright blue sky Oh, is there anything better on a Sunday morning? Right, this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing my first dailies and my second dailies in containers, which I've never done before. But I got a reminder this week from Tony O'Neill on Simplify Gardening. But this is the time to get your first and second dailies out. So, I have here my Maris Pier second dailies. I'm doing mostly main crop this year, but I've got some second dailies there, and they'll be uh, they'll be going in today. And they've chittered really, really well. You can see them. And um, also, what I managed to get done yesterday was these are my multi-sown onions. Um, I think these are Elsa Craig. I've got Elsa Craig, I've got Red Baron, and I've also got Bedfordshire Champion. So they were my multi stone onions, and I've got managed to get them into the ground on the allotment. And I'll just show you how that went yesterday. And because they're quite young, I've covered them. So this is my Allium beds. That one's going to be Lee already got me shallots in there I've got some more shallots in there a mixture different ones and onions on the far end and my multi sown onions from seed whether you can make that out whether you can see them rows so they went in yesterday so we have I've got 28 stations of Elsa Craig there I've got 14 stations of Red Baron and I've got another 28 stations there of Bedfordshire Champion so I'm really happy with how that bed looks um, I've took back the veggie mesh just so you can see what we've done there so that was yesterday's work alongside other stuff one of my plot neighbours had seven ton of mushroom compost delivered yesterday and it took a team of about seven or eight of us three hours to shift it all onto their plot. Right, I have got the bed now prepared for my strawberries, which I overwintered in the poly tunnel, if you remember, in my first video. I've transferred them just to make space into my coal frame. And as you can see, they are looking lovely. So these guys or at least the best of these guys are going to be heading over here I've been quite busy since you were last year if you have a look there I've got my uh, my pea frame ready there and I've got my bean frame ready I don't know whether you can see that I'm trying not to get the sun in your eyes That's my bean frame. Beans are not on the go yet, but I'll be getting them started very soon. And now, if I just turn around one more time, I finally decided that this is the bed I'm going to put my strawberries in. Now, if you remember from my first video, that wasn't clad in timber, it was very sharp. So I managed to get the timber this week and I cladded it yesterday, amongst other jobs I had. Um, so this is where my strawberries are going to go. Now, that's sun. This is quite early morning, quarter past nine. That sun starts there, but it, it goes up and over right the way. Across there, and I get full sun. After about 10, half 10 in the morning, I get full sun onto this bed, so that should be fine. So they're just some of the jobs I've got to do today. Um, I'll probably do the strawberries first. I'll set you up and you can see how I do that. Simply as a follow up to my very first video. Um, and then once I've done that, I will be doing my potatoes in the containers 
and the home for them is going to be these two beds here um, I'll probably put my first dailies in that bed and then when my main crop come out they'll go into that bed um, and that'll have them ready to go I don't know whether you can hear Mr Rob and I'm going to head over here because he's he's just got such a lovely such a lovely call I can't see him on there he is he's right at the top of that tree he greets me every morning without fail what a wonderful sound that is he's watching me now he's gone a little quiet okay so that's me for today what I'm going to be doing I tend to reward Mr Robin with filling up his fat balls in the tree I'm sure he's already had breakfast this morning um, I want to update on the pond the frog spawn it's still doing really well that water's warming up now and I can start to see some of the would-be tadpoles starting to wriggle around in amongst that frog spawn So, oh, very quickly, uh, on a previous video, I, I let you guys know that the mice had found my <clears throat> gutter sown peas in the greenhouse. Well, I've had to move them out here and create a bit of an obstacle course to keep the mice away. So the, the stations that survived are doing really, really well, as you can see. Um, but where there are gaps are where... Mr. Mouse filled his belly. So what I've done is I've, I've sown some fresh peas so they'll be a couple of weeks behind them first shoots that you can see now. But other than that they're coming on quite well. Um, I'm certain the mice can't get up and onto them peas simply because of the, uh, the way they sat on them buckets. Okay. So that's just a quick idea of what I'm going to do today so I'll get cracking on that now and, um, and what I'll do I'll bring you guys back once I start on the strawberries uh, and then you can see how they go in um, and how I choose them so come back to me in a sec Um, the strawberry crowns that I want I've selected the best that I've got um, I've estimated that I can probably get about 21 in this bed so what I'm going to do now is um, drop these in um, give them a good watering and then that should be the strawberries ready um, for a nice harvest of it later in the year so I'll crack on with that now I think I'm going to get 21 in here, so what I'll do is, that will be seven rows of three. So what I'll do is, space these out now, how I think they'll go before I start digging. And the easiest way to do that is to simply start in the middle. I know it's going to be seven rows of three, making the 21. So put, put them in the middle, then move to the ends, three in here, and then I can basically then fill up the gaps. So, there, there. Now I don't know what type variety of these strawberries are because I inherited them on the pot. So I'm not quite sure what I've got 
this year what I'll do is I'll have a, a good look at them um, and then decide which variety I like the best and which ones I'm likely to keep going forward. So when you're putting a lot in a bed like this the best thing to do is leave them in the pots put your pots out to get your spacings and then once you're happy with your spacings you can uh, you can put them straight in now I might I'm just wondering whether whether that's too many I don't think so I think there's enough gap around them all so what I'll do is now I'll um, I'll show you how I'll pop one of these in and then it's just repeat the process for another 20 times so Let's start with the middle one. Well, that's pretty more at the centre of the bed. So, let's take this out. Lovely and soft, this soil. Now, when you pop these out, just be careful not to snap any of the stems. You've got a decent recoil on them. Now you want to make sure the crown doesn't get buried. So the crown's right in the centre there where all the new shoots and leaves are going to be coming from. Just make sure you carefully put them in. Firm them down. And make sure that crown isn't buried in any way. Okay, we'll do this one. I hope you're all enjoying your gardens in this fine weather. It's as easy as that. Pop straight in. As I say, firm them in. Make sure the crown is still exposed. Do the rest of this one here. This is the other one. I think I've seen Danny from the Great Fine Allotments do his strawberries this week also. The problem I have with putting these videos together is I film them. But it takes me a while to get the chance to then get them uploaded and online. So you normally see them when I've done a couple of weeks after I've done it, which isn't great. Which is one of the reasons why I always say what I do is not a tutorial because Diamonds might be out slightly. Um, I just have so much other things to do and other things on. And if you enjoy doing the videos, you just find the time to do it because I love being on the plot more than anything. Um, and so if, if it's a dry day, sunny day, or whatever the weather is, I tend to be on the plot when I can be. The idea of being at home doesn't appeal to me really. So. When I'm rained off, and the weather really is poor, that's the time I tend to sit down and then try and catch up with all the videos that I've got. So, I hope you can see then, Nick, there's three. It's as simple as that. Just pop them in and give them a really, really good water. And then, and then that'll be their permanent home. Probably for good now. Um, they've, they've been moved around a lot, these strawberries, so I'm, I'm not going to move them now. This is going to be the bed for them, um, and then um, hopefully I'll get some good results. So I'm going to carry on with this now. Um, you guys can go make a cup of tea. I'll do something probably a bit more interesting than watching me put strawberries in. And, um, and I'll carry on with these, and then I'll, I'll get on with my potatoes. So, so. Here we have it. What I'll do now, I'll just quickly show you these, and then I'll um, I'll give the bed a good water, and then that's them done for the year. So I'll just show you how it looks. So there we go. So 21 was about right. So we've got 21 strawberry crowns in there. Go from this side. 
I'm really happy with the way that looks. I'll give them a good water now and, um, and then I'll get on with the rest of my work today. So, hope you've enjoyed the video today. Um, as I say, it wasn't a tutorial, just me catching up with what I've got to do, get my strawberries in. Um, hope you guys are staying safe, keeping well, um, and enjoying your gardens in this fantastic sunshine. So if you've enjoyed the video, you can hit like if you want, um, or subscribe, that'd be fantastic. If you want to make a comment, make a comment, and I'll most definitely um, answer it and, uh, and get in touch with you. Okay, so that's me done for the day. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.